cases, and she'll be bringing us the latest later on. Now, the management of the controversial Nakuru War Memorial Hospital has moved back to court after the police failed to supervise their restoration and control of the facility from the county government of Nakuru. The court had on Thursday last week directed Nakuru County Police Commander Samuel Dani to implement the orders which are yet to be implemented. And the ownership has been under an ownership row since October last year, with the county demanding that it should be reverted back to the public. Let's cross over to Ken Gashui, who has been following up on this story. Ken, good afternoon. Bring us the latest. Thank you, Fatia. Indeed, we have been at the Nakuru High Court where the case on uh, Nakuru War Memorial Hospital row between the, manage the private management and the county government of Nakuru has been going on. And uh, this day, just a few minutes ago, Justice Millicent Odeni has issued summons to Nakuru County Police Commander Samuel Ndanyi. He has directed that he appears at the court on February 1st, that is on, uh, uh, that is later this week, and he is to explain why he has not yet complied with the court orders issued last week. The first court order was issued on Monday, on Monday last week, directing him that he should supervise the, uh, the, uh, the exit of the county government from that private facility after they had uh, uh, forcefully uh, taken over the management of that uh, particular facility. And this morning, the management came back saying that the county police commander, Mr. Samuel Ndanyi, has not yet effected the orders, but the attorney general representative uh, uh, actually told the court that the county police commander had uh, adhered to part of that court order, but the judge directed that the lawyers and the, the attorney general visit that particular hospital and come up with a report on whether the, indeed uh, the county police commander had implemented anything to do with the court order. And then the, the court server who accompanied the lawyers established that actually no Nothing had been complied with by the police. The county is still uh, under on full control. The hospital is under full control of the uh, county Ascaris and some police officers from the National Police uh, National Police Service. And they came back with that report at the uh, Nakuru High Court, the Lands and Environment Court before Justice Millicent Odeni, who has now directed that the police commander, Mr. Samuel Ndani, should appear in person on February 1 and explain why he has not been able to actually implement those orders. One of the, the attorney general representative who came back uh, has actually informed the court that the police commander had uh, was attending to some family issues, actually some something to do with uh, his family at uh, the schools, now that the, just the schools have been reopened. And uh, well, that is something that the county police commander will be, uh, the court or the side of the private management of that hospital will be looking at whether the county police commander will now appear in person and remember that Justice Millicent Odeni has directed that if the police commander will not appear in person on that particular day that is February 1 and a warrant of arrest shall be issued against him this is an order that has been uh, raising eyebrows among uh, the Nakuru residents who are questioning why the county government has been uh, uh, defying the court order which has been there for more than a week now since it was first issued the county commander has not been available and the, the, the court order has been is direct or uh, it expressly states that the county police commander must be present when the lawyers are there to implement the exit of the county government officials from that facility and handing it over back to the uh, <clears throat> back to the private management. This is a hospital that has been under arouse since uh, October last year when the county government refused to renew the lease of that uh, private company that has been running that facility. And then uh, the, comp the private company managed to get a lease from the Ministry of Land, that is the national government, and that has been a subject of discussion on was the Ministry of Land justified to issue a lease when the county government of Nakuru had already declined to issue the same? There is also the issue of the, this is a matter that has taken a political angle with some of the leaders in this area criticizing the administration led by the governor, Susan Kihika, saying that their disobedience to court orders is actually showing that uh, they are not ready to comply with the 
the courts. And uh, this morning, actually, we had some of the lawyers threatening that they might actually mobilize some of the residents not to comply with some of the requirements that the county government direct them. And uh, we have the issue of uh, the payment of taxes. And uh, we don't know whether the county police commander, that is actually the main focus, whether the county police commander will show up on February 1 about this whole issue or still he'll be missing. Back to you, Fatia. Much. That is, of course, Ken Gashuhi on the latest of what's going on at the War Memorial Hospital there in Nakuru. Of course, the hospital has been in 